Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We wanted to show you our new quail setup. We're out in the barn. And yes, you're gonna hear roosters. This is the way it rolls here. This is our new quail setup. A lot of you guys have been asking about our quail. How are they doing? We bought 11 quail. Actually, I bought 10, but the lady gave me an extra one. Um, we bought 11, I guess you could say. Um, and um, 11 total. I lost two fairly early on, not long after my little video. I lost two little quail, um, which doesn't really surprise me. If you watch my first video on the quail, um, clearly, um, you know, they're very little. But nonetheless, we are five weeks, they are over five weeks old, and look what happened today, no joke. Moving day, we get eggs, which I have been looking this week, and boom, there they are. So, we bought a cage um, that you can clearly see here, and it is, we have hung it in the barn. Now, what I've done for now, see, this is why I keep my barn fluid. In other words, nothing is permanent in my barn because if I set something up and then I don't like it or we don't have that animal anymore, which that hasn't happened, but nonetheless, you know, if something changes, I haven't lost major time or setup or even money in a major ordeal. I can transform my stalls into anything at any given time. This stall has been transformed into the silky quail stall. Let me show you what I mean by that. We've hung the cage for the quail. I wanted the quail up off the ground. And we have a small setup. We're not big time folks, okay? We want to start out very small and very slow with our quail. So we bought the cage, as you can see here. It does not have the legs. Um, but we have, my husband got some screws and washers and we put it into um, here, uh, into the, right there, into the, I guess the, the two by fours or two by eights back there whatever and then um, we have suspended the front with these um, the cables okay took my husband maybe five minutes to put this in okay we saw a setup like this with a gentleman who has a setup the exact same way and he just wants a small setup to start out with so this is what he's done we thought that's genius so we enclosed this entire stall for two reasons number one My silkies are over here. I want my silkies completely separate from the rest of my chickens. But the thing about the silkies is they are low to the ground. They're not flighty. They're not going to be up here on top of, or at least I don't expect them to be. You know, there's exceptions, I'm sure. But, you know, they're not going to be hopping up on the quail. If they do, then we will change it. Okay, but that's not the expectation. The next thing I wanted in here was the quail because they are completely... You know, they have to be in a stall and separate. Whether I was getting rabbits or quail, I knew I was going to have be taking one of the stalls. So I've meshed them together. Now, I understand, and I know you're already going, girl, they're going to be pooping all over those silkies. Yes. So we wanted to get this up first and get them transferred, uh, which they're doing really well, because we're going to be putting a little drip pan, a drip system, you know, my husband is going to be building something probably in the next day or two so that when they poop and it falls through, as you can see right there, it's clearly going to be caught, okay? So that we understand that, we know that, and that's that's high on the priority. Right now, it was to basically get them out, get them in their cage, and get them going, which you can clearly see they're ready for business. They're over five weeks old, if I didn't say, so they're about five and a half weeks old. So that's what they're looking like. These are your pharaoh or your caternics. And uh, I really like them. I think they're going to be a great asset to the homestead. Like I said, we started small and uh, we're going slow. That's the key, guys. I'm telling you because you get your feelers for it. So should we change our mind? You know, if we do something else, boom, couple screws, take them down. Or we can add, you know, we can add. And yes, I'm going to tell you right now, the barn's dirty. Um, Y'all are used to that by now, I think. So we'll just uh, move on with that. All right, guys, just wanted to show you what we're doing um, and just take you along for the journey. I know a lot of you have been asking for videos on our quail and what we're doing. Yes, we have this side right here. I've just kept them together for now, um, and we're going to figure out how, who and how and what we're keeping. Uh, you know, right now it looks like we have, quote, four boys, five girls. So that's what we're looking at right now uh, in terms of sex. Um, so... You know, you have the speckling on the chest, which are the females, and then you have the more bronzed chest, 
uh, which is your male. So that is what we're looking like. This over here, once we start incubating, uh, will be our uh, grow out area, okay? And again, if we have to add, I have the gentleman that, that built this for me. He has, you know, had quail and chickens and pheasants and all sorts of things. So he can build me whatever I want, whenever I want it. No problem. I will tell you right now, this cage set up really nicely done here was $35. So, and, and this was only the small to medium size. He can build you anything you want. So we're getting our feelers for it. And we appreciate you watching. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And guys, you guys that have quail, by all means, you know, interject what you think or what you know. Um, I was concerned that this might be a little bit too wide, but they seem to be doing just fine and the poop is falling through. Um, and if you can think, if you want to interject something that I can add in there to help supplement them, uh, you know, enrich them. Um, because again, although this is a food supplement item, for us, that's the whole goal of having the quail on the homestead is for the eggs and for the meat. I don't make any bones about that, um, but I want them to have healthy and rich lives. So if there's something they need in there, gr certain greenery, just whatever your suggestions are, I want to hear them. Put them down in the comments below because I love hearing from you guys. You guys are in the know. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Y'all take care out there and have a great and cool summer evening.